and they were off and swimming. The candidates for this year's Huntington Beach lifeguard tryouts were underway. This, the 109th incorporation of the city of Huntington Beach. Another picture postcard day, especially for the coveted position with world famous Huntington Beach Marine Safety. So we have 51 people competing. Uh, they're going through three swims, a pier swim, a bait house swim, which is half the pier, and then a run swim run from Tower 5 bait house back to Tower 5. Once they go through that, we will take the top finishers that we feel are qualified, put them into a oral interview tomorrow. They'll go through the oral interview. If selected, they'll get hired by the city. They'll go through the city process, and then we will start lifeguard training in April with them, where they'll go through 110 hours of lifeguard training. Training that Adolfo Nieto wants to go through again. Formerly with the department as a lifeguard, Adolfo joined the Navy as a medic, but due to injury, his military career was cut short. I found out that my true calling was on the beach or uh, in a fire department working as a paramedic. And uh, I'm here to get my job back, doing the, the best thing I love, you know? Uh, you know, he, he did it for a couple of years and he got hurt. And he, he goes, where, where could I go that I could use the skills that I've got? Where else? Come back to Surf City and help save lives. He's got knowledge base of being a lifeguard, but he's also got military training. And we model a lot of things we do after military training. You've got to be able to do emergency things in stressful situations where lives are on the line. That's the kind of person we want working here. Not only did participant Austin Stanton come in first, he came in first each of the three contests today on the beach. Dad. My dad was a lifeguard. He was? Yeah, he was. And then my older brother was a lifeguard in Orange County lifeguards. So do you think some of that, how does that rub off on you? Well, we are all like, hey, we're going to be lifeguards, my older brother and I were. And so my dad was just encouraging us to do it. The popular Huntington Beach Junior Lifeguard Program acts as a feeder program to potential permanent lifeguard jobs, a job Lizzie has her sights on. Uh, I think my chances are pretty good. Um, I've been around junior lifeguards since I was really little, so I know how to work the ocean and I know how to, how to swim in the ocean in less than fantastic conditions. Uh, I play water polo, so I know how to deal with a lot of the commotion in the water, so I think I have a pretty good shot. But why be an Huntington Beach lifeguard? I think it'd be fun to sit at the beach all day, make sure people are safe, and I don't know, I enjoy the beach, so yeah. But you're, you're going to save people's lives? Yeah, I am. I'm, that's the goal, is to make sure everyone's safe and having fun. From the novice to the experienced professional, the age of 26, might have slowed Rodolfo, but not his will. Honestly, first time around six years ago, wasn't that bad. Second time around with some miles on my body, definitely feeling it. <laughs> it's just fun, just happy to be here. Enjoy the sun and the water, hanging out with all the kids and getting back with the boys, making rescues. Out of 51 hopefuls, around 22 openings may exist by tomorrow at the start of the oral interviews. To be a lifeguard is known as a fantastic opportunity. It is, it's a great job. It's compatible with uh, school and education. They work weekends in the spring and fall and they take a 40 hour uh, schedule during the summertime, make enough money to uh, fund their college education. More later on this story, coming on Surf City Highlights and the city's YouTube channel.